Star Marshall's happy, moves away, heat number 15, takes up, away we go. Certainly Vallejo and Torcel have made fine starts there. Holder on the outside, it's Torcel now, down the back straight. Here we go with Holder coming on strong as well, but he's trapped in a little bit of traffic there with Vallejo on the outside. Kovetch is at the back, Torcel certainly. Oh, that was tight, very tight indeed with um, Vallejo, then chopped the nose off of Chris Holder. Torcel in front, being chased hard by David Vallejo. Oh, we've seen this so many times, Jakob Torcel making great starts, just doesn't have too much speed. They're queuing up behind him. Here comes Belago. Brilliant move up the inside. No, he isn't going to get there. He's left Chris Holder plenty of space to look around the outside now. Can he generate enough speed? He certainly is gaining a little bit, but that's a long way round up there. And Jakob Torsell just holding the traffic up a little bit. Torsell out in front. Here comes Holder. He comes flying through. Trying to get round the outside of Belago. He's done it. Can he get the better of Torsell? One last blast down the back straight. Torsell hanging on out in front after a smashing start. Very wide indeed for Holder. Can he get it? He has. That is a sensational ride from Chris Holder. Committed himself to the outside. And a second place first time out. Settled in. And he's done it the hard way there. And showed tremendous commitment to the cause. And has come through in flying colours. So that was a superb ride. Entertaining race to watch. No chasing about that. And uh, Holder comes through. Does the business for Australia in heat number 15 when Torsell is uh, leading the race for three and three quarter laps there. The Lego was involved as well there. That was a really good speedway race. So there we are. Chris Holder out in front. Three points for Australia. Jacob Torsell back in second place. Two points for Sweden, David Belego, one point for France, and Jankovic misses out there in heat number 15. Well, encouraging signs there for Chris Holder. Hasn't been back very long after a nasty back injury. He'll be chuffed to bits with that. Yeah, Chris needs these rides, and so does Mark Lemon. He needs to see what Chris Holder's all about. Uh, having come back from two nasty injuries, uh, one last year and, of course, one back in April this year as well. But, uh, yeah, Jakob Torsell once again with such a... A great start, really is riding very, very well. Chris Holder now has got to wind it up. He's got to work it out. But there you go in front of him there. And Jankovic putting Chris Holder under pressure. Chris Holder really soaks this up quite nicely, though, because it's difficult there. He's had to get off the gas. He's chasing the back wheel of David Belego. Jakob Torsell with another good start. We've seen it so many times. Just about every race he's been in in this tournament, he's made the start and then uh, he's got past. But uh, Chris Holder, he, once he dis decides where he's going to ride, he knows the bike's working. He goes out to the outside, finds the extra grip. Takes him about a lap to build up his momentum. They're running really small sprockets, which makes it like feel like you're in fifth or sixth gear in your car and uh, there it takes him a, a whole lap to do that but uh, once he gets it wound up plenty of speed